for lesson 27, we're going to practice solving one-step equations that involve multiplication and division. So we'll start off by solving 3z equals 9, or 3 times z equals 9, using tape diagrams and algebraically, and then we'll check our answer. First, we'll draw two tape diagrams, one to represent each side of the equation. So when we look at the two tape diagrams, I have 3z and I have 9. If 9 had to be split into three groups, how, would, how big would each group be? It would be 3. And then we can draw another tape diagram showing the value of z, which is 3. So now we're going to uh, demonstrate this problem algebraically. The original problem, 3 times z equals 9, we'll need to do the opposite of multiplying z by 3, so we're going to divide. So what we have then is 3z, and I'm going to divide by 3, and I'm going to show that division as a fraction. It's just a lot easier for me. Remember, we have to do the same thing to both sides of our equation. <clears throat> and remember, 3 divided by 3 is 1, which leaves us with a z, exactly what we're looking for. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. It gets us to the value of z because 3 divided by 3 equals 1 and 1 times z equals z. Now we can check our answer by substituting. And so we're going to substitute 3 times 3, because that's the value we found for z, equals 9. And 3 times 3 is 9, so it is a true equation. We found the correct answer. In example two, we're asked to solve y divided by four equals two using tape diagrams and algebraically. So we're gonna start by drawing two tape diagrams and um, work from there. So I'm showing the two tape diagrams, the first one as one divided by four, and the second one as two. If the first tape diagram shows the size of y divided by four, how can we draw a tape diagram to represent y? Well, our second tape diagram needs to be four times y divided by four. So then, let's draw it. So we can see that y is equal to y divided by 4 times 4. Which should help us solve it algebraically. y divided by 4 times 4 will be equal to y. So when we reason out, what value does each y divided by 4 section represent? It represents 1 fourth of y. And we know that because it takes 4 of those sections in order to get y. How can you use a tape diagram to show the value of y? Well, we did that. We made <clears throat> a tape diagram that is four <clears throat> of those sections long. 
To demonstrate it algebraically then, we would want to show y divided by 4 times 4 is equal to 2 times 4. And then we'll find that y is equal to 8. This helps us to find the value of y because when we multiply by 4, the left side of the equation is y. We can check our answer by substituting back into the original equation. So we're going to do 8, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, and 8 divided by 2, 8 divided by 4 is actually 2, 2 is equal to 2, so we found the correct answer. Now in the exercises again, we're going to practice first of all with tape diagrams and then solving algebraically. In number one, we can see the tape diagrams where we have 3m in the first tape diagram and 21 in the second. And so we should know that equal parts, three equal parts of 21 mean that m must equal seven. And then, of course, we can substitute back in to make sure that it works, and it does. If we then solve algebraically the second problem, we have 15 equals n divided by 5. So in solving, 15 is equal to n divided by 5 algebraically, we're going to do the opposite of dividing by 5. So we will multiply by 5. And we'll need to multiply by 5 on both sides. So we'll also need to multiply 15 by 5. 15 times 5 is 75, and remember dividing by 5 and multiplying by 5 will cancel each other, giving us n. So n is equal to 75. Let's substitute to check. 15 is equal to 75 divided by 5. And when we divide 75 by 5, we do indeed get 15. In number three, we're asked to calculate the solution of the equation using a method of our choice. Well, my choice is algebraically, it takes less time. So I'm going to do 4p, and then I will divide by 4, equals 36 divided by 4. And again, it's because we have to do the same thing on both sides. We end up with p on the left side, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. I'll substitute back into the equation 4 times 9 equals 36, and 4 times 9 is indeed 36. And then in number 4, we're asked to examine the tape diagram and write the equation that it represents. And then calculate the solution to the equation using the method of our choice. Now we can see that we have 70 
and our 70 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Q. So our equation, 70 is equal to 7 Q. We could solve algebraically by dividing both sides by 7. And we would get 10 equals Q. We substitute 10 back into our original equation. We would have 70 equals 7 times 10. And we know, of course, that that is true. 70 is equal to 70. In number 5, we're asked to write a multiplication equation that has a solution of 12. And then use tape diagrams to prove that your equation is actually has the solution of 12. And so in 5 and 6, you're going to be more creative in making your own numbers. And there are an infinite number of possibilities there. So I'm going to leave those for you to do on your own. And you'll practice more with your problem sets.